Uh, an Ulster Bank official sponsor. Time win over Roscommon in the quarter final. Kerry set about their task early on and went into a first minute lead thanks to Kieran Hurley. But it was goalkeeper Paul O'Sullivan who had the most on his plate. First denying Eugene McVerry. Good save or a miss, you decide. While our mad trail for most of the first half, McVerry tormented the Kerry full back line. This classy point left them just one behind. O'Sullivan was again called into action late in the half. Brilliantly denying Connor King. Speed of thought and sharp reflexes from the Churchill clubman. That miss was compounded moments later. Aina O'Connor, son of senior boss Jack, landed this free, one of six he kicked this afternoon, to leave his side seven points to four ahead at the break. But that was as good as it got for the kingdom, as their ma assumed a stranglehold in the second half. This Gavin McParlin goal a sign of things to come. This match could have ended up a hammering had it not been for O'Sullivan's intervention yet again. A star for the future on this evidence. Armagh's relentless pressure was to pay its dividends and they hit the front for the first time in the 38th minute thanks to Rory Grugan. Left with little protection from his full back line there was little that O'Sullivan could do about McParlin's second all too easy for Armagh at this stage. At this point, the Ulster champions were rampant and Kerry seemed powerless. This McVerry point a reward for hard work and industry. Kerry notched just three points in the second half. Captain Niall O'Shea grabbing the only one from play, albeit with some help from goalkeeper Stephen O'Reilly. Kerry appeared listless and sloppy play allowed Grugan to finish the job with his sixth of the game. His third from play to cap a 2-10 to 10 points final score. They were very strong all over the field. They kept coming at us. They came in droves. Their primary position was great. They won a lot of primary position, which was we found it hard to do that and get ball into our inside line. Um, all over the field, they appeared to have no weak link. And everything we tried today, the opposite to the Roscommon game, it didn't work. And it was just one of those days. Just couldn't get going in the first half at all. Like, but we knew with the team we had, we come in the second half, we get down, we sit down, relax ourselves again, and just get back at work and go out and push it on. Anthony, you were impressed with Armagh today. I but um, throughout the game they controlled it. I, th I thought Des, even though they were down at half point, half time, three points down, I thought they created a number of goal scoring opportunities in both both halves. And you know, for a minor side, they're extremely well built. You know, their their wing backs, Declan McKenna, very very strong. You have James Morgan on the other side, very strong, very strong centre field. Um, all of their scores came from four four players the inside line, getting the majority of them. But as far as a minor team is concerned, they haven't won a title in, in 49. They're well placed now, I think, to go on and, and win this year's minor, minor mm. side. Very, very impressive. Kerry, I thought, were poor enough. You know, the, the basic skills of the game which you, you associate with Kerry, you think they have that off the tee. Um, defensively, they were poor as well. So, deserving win for Armagh today. Yeah. I think the, the, the one thing that struck me was the amount of times they set up goal scoring chances only for Paul O'Sullivan and the Kerry goals like they could have had five or six goals yeah. and they always seemed to give the ball to the player in the right position plus the fact that the, you know Anthony said their physique was outstanding and most of the 50-50 challenges and our man, man seemed to come out with the ball and the more the game went on, the more Kerry didn't seem to want to, to, to be up for the fight, which was surprising because Kerry at times seemed to have nice touches. But it was a, a disappointing display by Kerry, but it looks like a very good Armagh team. Right. Tony, you were taking a look at their inside, inside forward. Inside forward, they were yeah. fantastic. The three inside, you have Robbie Tasker, Eugene McVerry and Gavin McParkin in the full forward line. They nearly got all their scores. But as the boys were saying, they're physically very strong. They've done a lot of work with them since they're 14, 15 years old. There's Gavin McPark and he got that's the first of his uh, of his two goals, a yeah, super goal. But they ran at them all day, and it, except for Paula Sullivan in goal, they would have got about six or seven goals. And right through they were dominating. Here we see him in again on goal, fantastic save, and he makes a better save than that again in the second half. But really, the the, the carry defence was at sixes and sevens. Look at this for a save, and the important part is he gets his hand back and gets it out. Paula Sullivan had a super game for him. It would have been a cricket score only for that. And the game was over at this stage. He just fantastic <laughs> save. That's the double yeah. said the replay. This is the other one again. It's like watching Armagh again. Huge upper body strength. Rips the ball off and then kicks it in over the bar. Okay, then well done, Armagh. And of course.